This is a small PBS or telephone intercom system setup having two telephone sockets through which telephone handsets can be connected. I have connected this particular socket through a telephone distribution point or DP before it goes to the PBS switch. And for this other one, I have connected the telephone socket directly to the PBS switch. Many have asked the question, what is the function of the telephone distribution point or DP when indeed the telephone socket can be directly connected to the PBS switch, as I have done in this other socket connection. And so in this video, we will discuss the instances that require the use of the telephone distribution point or DP in a PBS or telephone intercom system setup. Let's take an instance where there are three buildings, say building A, building B, and building C, all located in the same vicinity as you may find in the case of hotel structures or buildings and any other kind of facility that have this kind of scattered building arrangements. Now, if there is need for a telephone system in all these buildings A, B, and C, where a telephone at building A should be able to communicate to another telephone at building B or even C, there will be need to use one PBS switch. And it is a typical instance that you will need a telephone distribution point or DP. And so what you would have to do in that instance is that, let's say your PBS switch is to be located in building A. You can just directly connect all your telephone sockets in this building A to the PBS switch without going through a telephone distribution point just as I did in this socket connection where I just wired the socket and connected directly to the PBS switch. At building B, you will require a telephone distribution point or DP where you will bring all your telephone socket cablings in this building B and terminate on the DP. And from the DP, you will need a multi-core cable that you will have to run from the DP to the PBS switch. So instead of having to run each socket to the PBS switch, you will rather have to run all your cablings to the DP and terminate on the DP and then take just a single multi-core cable that has the capacity or the number of pairs that can carry all your sockets to the PBS switch. The same applies to building C where you will take all your socket cablings to the central DP in the building C and then again use a multi-core cable from the DP to the PBS switch. This kind of wiring arrangement will save you the hassle and the waste of cable having to run each and every telephone socket cable to the PBS switch. If you find value in this video, please ensure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.